we're asked to use the graphs of the velocity function and acceleration function to determine if the particle is speeding up or slowing down at the given x values. We have x equals 1.5 and x equals 3. In general, the particle is speeding up when the velocity and acceleration have the same sign, and the particle is slowing down when the velocity and acceleration have different signs. And let's go over this in more detail. When v of t and a of t are both greater than zero, the velocity is positive and increasing. Remember, the acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity function, which means where the acceleration function is positive, the velocity is increasing, and where the acceleration function is negative, the velocity is decreasing. So because the velocity is positive and increasing, the particle is speeding up. And if both the velocity and acceleration are less than zero, the velocity is negative and decreasing, and therefore, the particle is speeding up. So again, when the velocity and acceleration have the same sign, the particle is speeding up. If the velocity is greater than zero and the acceleration is less than zero, then the velocity is positive and decreasing, which indicates the particle is slowing down. And if the velocity is less than zero and the acceleration is greater than zero, the velocity is negative and increasing. Once again, the particle is slowing down. So if the velocity and acceleration have different signs, the particle is slowing down. So now going back to our problem, let's first locate the points on the velocity and acceleration functions where x equals 1.5. The point on the velocity function when x is equal to 1.5 is here. Notice how the velocity is positive. And the point on the acceleration function when x equals 1.5 is this point. Notice how the acceleration is negative. So because the velocity and acceleration have different signs, the particle is slowing down. In this case, the velocity is positive and decreasing. And now let's locate the points where x equals three. The point on the velocity function when x equals three is here. Notice how the velocity is negative. The point on the acceleration function when x equals three is this point. Notice how the acceleration is also negative. So because the velocity and acceleration have the same sign, the particle is speeding up at x equals three. The velocity is negative and decreasing. I hope you found this helpful.